Hi guys and welcome to an Emperor Wargaming Let's Play. So today we are trying out the ABC Warriors from Warlord Games. They were very kind and sent this out to me so I painted it up uh, and myself and Dave here are going to give it a go. Hi everybody. So we'll see how it plays and we'll let you know, we'll show you what you get in the box and go from there. So without further ado, let's go. So this is what you basically get in the starter set. So you obviously get the rule book. You get this awesome piece of MDF terrain, which they call the DS or Dias of Destruction, which is really cool. You get your models, dice, and your cards. So we'll take a quick look at the models. So we've got Volcan Icon of Icons and his Volgan AK-47 War Droids. And then you get three Hammerstein Mark I models and the man himself, Sergeant Hammerstein. So we're going to set up. We're not going to play with all the tarot cards to start with because this is our first time playing it we want to get it right so we're just going to play like a little objectives game and go from there so we'll get set up and go from there so let's get going so basically each unit gets these little chips that go into the bag like in bolt action it's a dice pool game um, We'll do deployment in a second, but we've got five objectives, one here, one here, one in the center, and then one and one over there. Um, the idea is that you move in, control an objective, and it is sticky objective, so once yep. you control it, as long as no one else comes over, it is your objective. Yep. Um, to claim it, there's got to be no models within three inches, basically. Um, so the way this works, we each have a leader. So mine is Volcan, Icon of Icons. Yours is Sergeant Hammerstein there. Um, they get what's known as a star chip and basically the star chip when you pull it you can assign it to any of your units but you then roll a number of the dice that come with the set and if you get a special result you can put that chip back in to the bag redraw and it can go again Sounds so good. in theory this game could never end we could just have a constant turn one going on and on and on but the likelihood is it's less likely to happen because dice hate me um <laughs> So we'll do our deployment. So I'll deploy one first, which will be Vulcan and his anvil. And I'm just going to place him down. And Josh, can they deploy anywhere on the board? Uh, yeah, pretty much, from what I can gather. Okay. So I'm going to do the same and put my leader down. And because I want to have a bit of a, a bit of a bun fight, I'm going to put him over here. So right in the centre, love it. Yeah. Okay, so then I've got my three Volgan AK-47s. Now these war droids act as a group and they are slightly limited in what they can do, but we'll go through yeah. that when it comes to okay. it. Um, effectively, they can like move and shoot or they could just move, but they can't do everything, like they can't charge. Unless yeah. they're given a star chip, then they can do anything. So I'm going to put the Volgan AK-47s just over here. Cool, and again, same principle. Let's get stuck in, so... These guys are going to start over here. Awesome stuff. Cool. So that's us all deployed. And now what we'll do is um, go for dice pulling. So would you like to pull first? Oh, that, yeah, that's very kind. We'll see. I'll be red. You can be green. Hey! There we go. So straight away, I've got my star chip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it on Volcan Icon of Icons and do a double move. Because I... I like to think that he's going to be able to get his uh, chip back into the bag. So you get double movement. So on the card, movement is five. Yep. So you go down. Ten inches. So Boom. he's just going to run up over here with his anvil. Must be very heavy carrying an anvil around with you. So what I've now got to do is I've got to roll the number of dice equal to his cool stat, which is... Five. So he's got quite a high cool stat. So I'll pick up five of these special dice. And what I'm looking for is the 2000 AD thing. Which I do get. So we're all good. So his chip goes back into the bag and can be activated later. So that's what you said there about potentially you could just keep going and going and going. going. Well, obviously if you use it on a lower quality droid, it's not going to work yeah. as well. Okay, so the leaders have a little bit of extra room, which does make sense. Yeah. Okay, so it's me again. This time it's my plane chip. So I could use this on Volcan, but then he wouldn't get to activate again. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use it on my war droids. Yep. They're going to 
they basically have a rule which means they're not fully automated. They can't um, do... They haven't got like the human kind of AI aspect to it. So I'm just going to flick to the bit here that tells me what they can do. He says, quickly doing it. So the rule is called, when he finds it, no freedom of action. So many robots, especially the earlier soldiers from the Volgan Wars, like the AK-47s and the Hammerstein Mark 1s, are denied full freedom of action by their creators. So I can do an advance, which is a move and a snapshot. I can do an aimed fire, uh, a regroup, or I could break the chains if I gave them that star chip. But because I haven't, I'm gonna just yeah. do an advance, which is a move and a snapshot. So, their movement is? So their movement is four. So they're just gonna move four inches this way to get a line of sight to the yeah. Hammersteins. Now the way shooting works in this is you pick one model who is able to see the unit yeah. and he fires. Any other models in his group can add their dice to the pool. Okay. So all three of them, in theory, can shoot. So if we have a look... And you've got the weapon stats on the back of the card, which again is pretty handy. So I need to check the range. I don't think it's going to be short range. No. No. So it classes as long range. Which means I get a minus one modifier. So they start off with a shoot of two. So they get two, the first one will get two dice, and then all three can add their dice to ah, the pool. So six dice in total. However, I'll get a minus one modifier for each one of them because of the long range. Okay, yeah, and that is the only modifier because yeah, these guys are in the open. Yeah, yeah. So then what we do is we roll these and we're looking for cover, uh, not cover, the little hits to see how many we get. So I've got two hits there. Two hits. So when you get a hit, you can try and evade if you have an evade stat, which you don't. <laughs> so you're, they're gonna hit. And presumably the shield on here, which is four, that's what I roll, is that a save? Yep, so you now roll four dice yep. to see if you can save. So how many do we get? You see, so you don't save any of them, unfortunately. Typical for me. Um, so now, resist. So you haven't resisted any. So I've now hit you, which is good. So now we need to look at damage. So power after resist. So on the injury chart, look up the power of the attack after it has been modified by the resist roll of the target to, term, to determine its effect. So the power of the weapon is four. So three or greater power after the resist. So you haven't resisted any, which is good. So I've done four twice, which is target gains three leaks or three injury markers. So we now, where did we put the... So basically they, it, it's, they're taking wounds, but they're not, it's not killing them, it's just... Yeah, they're just taking the... Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll pop some injury markers down there. This is how well prepared I am for this game. Mm. I uh, haven't even finished off getting all the injury markers out. So they take four. Okay. Now we need to find out if it... Here we go. So, the leaking model's move or resist stats are reduced by one for each leak marker it currently has. The model with a move of zero may only turn in place. So it's a bit like pins in bolt action then. Yeah. It reduces your effectiveness. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, so when a robot model accumulates stunned and or leak markers equal to or greater than the model's starting resist stat, the robot is down and uh, has been rendered inactive except for basic self-repair protocols. So that model now classes as 
down, or that group of models classes as being down. Okay. No, it'd only be the one, wouldn't it? So just one, one is down. One of them is down. So how? So is there a marker that indicates that, or should we just put them on his side, or? Yeah, pop them on his side for now. Pop them on his side. But what you can do is you can reactivate him. So when you pull a action or a star chip, uh, you can do a call cool test. So you roll the number of dice equal yep. to a call. Cool. If you get a special result, he'll stand back up. Okay, sounds, sounds good. <clears throat> That's our first round of shooting done with the Volgan AK-47s. So now we're on to pull the next chip. Hey, so that's one of you. So I get my star one. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is um, I want to get him back up. Yep. Uh, and I want to get these guys moving and grooving. Because obviously shooting and being shot in the open is not good. So I roll, so what you said, you roll a number of dice. Equal to your call. So your call is the one right at the bottom. So two dice. So you want a special and one of these two dice. Oh, unlucky. So he... <coughs> That model over there stays down. Stays down. But the rest of them can get back up or carry on moving. So what I could do is, um, obviously because it's a start, it goes back in the bag. Only if you pass your cool test. So if I do a, another cool test and try and pass it. Um, but what I want to do with these guys is, they've only got a movement of five. I want to try and get them stuck in over there because they've got some good weapons, hopefully, in um, first combat. So I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a double move, mm -hmm. and then hoping that I can pass my cool test to get the dice back in the bag. So a double move is 10, so it puts them over there, so hopefully potentially within sort of strike distance if I can get another activation. Um, and then I'm going to roll these dice to see if I can um, mm -hmm. get it back in the bag. Oh, unlucky. So now that star chip now stays with them. Now we've got two chips back in the bag. I'm not exactly doing well. Right, so, to you. it's my star chip again, so I'm going to obviously now activate Volcan, Icon of Icons. Um, he's going to do a move. In fact, he'll probably do... Let's have a look. What do we want to do with Volcan, Icon of Icons? I mean, just, just looking at it, the rule book looks quite well laid out. Yeah, it's um, pretty good. It's colourful. Yeah, it's you pretty compare good. it to other systems and stuff. So I reckon we're going to do a move action. Yeah, we'll do another double move. So he's going 10 inches. So he's going for the objective. Whether I go for the objective or move around here, try and get my cool icon back in, or my chip back in the bag and then hopefully do a charge and hit you with a missile yeah. and the hammer. Because you're rolling those five dice so you've got a good chance of getting it back in. Yes, we get our, so the cool chip goes back in the bag. There's a bit of a trend here. <laughs> <laughs> Beginner's luck or unluck. Okay, so it's you again. There we go, so as Volcan is now going to charge. So to do a charge you basically do a move it classes as a double move, but yeah. you move and then you get a fight action at the end of it. So, And is fighting simultaneous in terms of, or do you fight first and then I fight back? Or It's a very good point. Because again, uh, in bow action, there's a, yeah. there's a really good mechanic there. So, so let's uh, pause the video there. We'll work out the moves and then we'll go from there. So, we've worked out how to do a fight now. <laughs> so, basically, uh, Volcan, Icon of Icons, has moved into base contact with the two remaining Hammerstein droids. Um, his fight characteristic is quite good because he doesn't actually have any range of weapons. He is like hand to hand. Hand to hand specialist. Yeah, fisticuffs. So he gets six fight dice, which is obviously pretty decent. Um, if I choose just to use one of his weapons, I get a plus one modifier to that as well. And you don't get any kind of like benefits to your um, Resist that. I think I'm going to take some pain in this. I think you might take a bit of pain. So, um, I roll seven dice with. I'm going to use. We we'll use the sickle. Let's use the sickle. Oh, so you only use one weapon? You can use both, but you get benefits to your resist stat. Okay. And I don't want that. I want to just cut you off. You want to. Yeah. So, let's see what we can do. Not actually that good. <laughs> so, three hits. So. You now get to roll your resist on them. Yep, so my resist is um, four. 
Cool, so if you roll those four dice, we'll see what you do. So you resist two of them. Better than last good. time. That is good. So, I now need to see what the power is for his uh, sickle. Which will be on the other side of the card, I think. No. I'll be right back. So, his power is equal to his fight stat, which is six. So we need to now see how much damage we actually do to you. Mm, three. So you're going to take three... Um, three more wounds? Yeah, so I think these wounds, basically, they live on him. He's the one who's suffering at the moment. Yeah. So we then put three wounds on one of your guys over here. And then we need to roll his cool stat to see if my chip goes back in the bag. Yeah. So, yeah, we should get five dice for that. Yep. Will do, I, do I roll to see if I go down with that? Or? No, because it's not equal to your resist. Okay. So your resist is four. Okay, yeah. That so you're sense. hurting, but I'm still in the game. At the moment. So, do I get his dice back in? Or not his dice, his chip back in. I do! There's a trend here. So this is how it can just, like they say, theoretically go on forever and ever and ever. Yay! And again, so off he goes again. So he's going to do his fight action again. We're going to try and chop down this pesky uh, uh, Hammerstein Mark One. So six dice. There we go. That's a bit better. So we get four hits. So then you need to roll four dice to see if you can block any of them. So block two. Block. Yeah, just one. Just one. Just one. The special, unfortunately, doesn't count okay. for anything. So then that's basically three hits yep. that I've done to you. So each one of those is six dice to see how much. So the first one does three damage. The first one does four damage, so we're up to seven in total. And the final one does another three. So ten damage in total which is enough to basically yeah. knock them down. So they, they both go down? Yeah. So what, what, what would you do to kill them then? What, because cumulatively they've, they've taken a lot of damage as a unit now. Yeah, so let's have a look. So downed robots, destruction. It may be preferable to finish off a downed robot with extreme measures rather than watch it reactivate. A robot model that accumulates leaks equal to twice its resist stat is rendered incapable of reactivation for any time soon and is removed from the table. So currently, you've got four on that one over there. Yeah, which is equal to his resist. So yeah, so it's not double. And then we got another 10 over here, which is 13 in total. So they're both, basically both dead now, aren't they? Not quite, I don't think, because you need eight to knock one completely out. Uh, okay. So one is completely dead. One's dead, so and, then there's, and then five remaining. Yes, on this one dude here. So what we'll do is we'll remove one. Yes, he's been absolutely pulverized into the dirt, and then he should have. I mean, obviously, for the first game, we've been you know a bit aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. To, to understand it, um, that's useful to yeah. And then we need to put what's known as a metal fatigue marker down. Okay. Which basically reduces your resist stats effectively. So. He takes one. He takes one. They're looking pretty badly beaten up as a unit now. They are. So now what I get to do again... So again, to see if your if star chip there, goes back in. The star chip goes back in. I can definitely see potentially a house hall where you say you could do it up to a maximum of yeah. say two times or something like I that. I think that's it. You've got to use it on... You can use it on any of your um, units, but if oh. you were to use it on your... I mean, maybe, maybe put that back in and I'll activate mine just yeah. for the sake of doing an intro game because, yeah, I can see that being really super duper powerful for you. Yeah, because if you use it on your big name characters, like, what's your Hammerstein? He's, um, Sergeant Hammerstein's got four yeah. cool rating, which is still reasonable to think about getting stuff back in. So I'm going to activate um, my leader and I'm going to do a double move. So he can go a double move of ten, so it just puts him effectively just on the corner of the building here. Cool. And then obviously the last one out is um, is your star star chip. So mine's going to do a double move now to 
So you finish them off, so you're going to go for the objective. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we'll give them a chance to reactivate. Yeah. We'll see what happens. But um, does his chip go back in the bag? Hey, finally, his chip stays out. So that is the end of turn one. We'll have a little tidy up and uh, we'll come right back at you with turn two. But currently, I started off with that one and that objective over there. Whereas I can't even see it. So I've claimed that objective, that objective, and Volcan's now claiming that one. Uh, you started off claiming the one in the far corner, yep. so we are all good. But we'll come back at you with turn two. So, in turn two, so a few things that we did slightly wrong in the first one. So when you fail to put your cool chip back in the bag, you take a pin. So, for my Volcan Icon of Icons, he did eventually fail to put his chip back in. So he's going to do that. The other thing we realised is that actually, when it's the last chip drawn, you get a minus two modifier to your cool. Yeah. Which, which makes sense. It would be a lot more dangerous. Yeah. So, into turn two, let's see what we can do. So, so you first. So it's me first. So... Which one is it? Is it your normal or your... So it's my... It's my star one, star yeah. one which potentially means I can, I can do another turn. So what I'm going to do is I need, I need to put some damage on you. So I'm tempted to fire at this unit with my big boss man. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, uh, let's try and do that. Now he's got quite, quite an interesting range of weaponry actually. So he's got, in terms of shooting, he's got his, uh, he's got his guns on his wrist. Uh, he's got a combat rifle. And he's also got a, uh, and a cannon as well. So he's got quite a lot going on. So what I'm going to do is, so we only use one weapon. Oh uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the cannon mm -hmm. at this unit here. Yep. So it's not going to be within short range, which, which is eight, but it's going to be within my maximum long range of 16. Yep, perfect. Yep. So because you're doing an aimed shot, you get plus one. To your modifier, but I think you also get minus one for range. So it just e equals out. Equals it out. So I get four dice. You're looking for some hits here. Oh, okay, so that's four hits. Brilliant. So I now need to see if I can. And personally, can I evade them? No, because I haven't got an evade stat. And it's got power four on the on the cannon. So I now need to roll my defense dice. I only get three for my war droids, so let's see. None, so all four of them go four, go through, sorry. So each one, you now get to roll four dice to see what it does. So, top one. So, so far we've got three hits, because it goes on to the unit yeah. as opposed to. Okay, so three hits, six, another three. Yep. And again, another three, so nine, nine in total. So that puts them all down. Really? So they've only got a resist stat of three. So each one of these has been knocked down. And then we'll just put slowly running out of the... Uh, so it's really brutal, really, yeah. really brutal. If you fail those um, yeah. resist rolls, yeah, absolutely. But this is where cover is gonna be important. Yeah, for sure. So do you wanna to roll to see if you can get your... Um, yeah, so he's only got, um, actually he's got more, isn't he? So he's got four. Four. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, I'm not having much luck with uh, the star chips. So I, I take a pin because I failed it. Yes, you will take a pin because you failed it. Which is less than ideal. But then a lot of his men are getting shot, beaten and yeah. clumped to death, so. Right. So, next chip out of the bag. And that's over to you. Okay, is it my normal? Is it? No, it's not, it's my star. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to try and give, well, no, I am going to give uh, Volcan a rally order. Basically, he rolls his cool dice, any special results, he gets rid of his pin. Yep. Um, and then he can do a well, that's it actually, it classes a double move. So, but you're banking on getting your chip back out. That's the hope anyway. So, 
five dice. Do I get any specials? I do. So he gets rid of his pin, which is great. Now we need to see, does he put his star chip back in the bag? So again, looking for a special. No, he doesn't. Okay. So that was totally pointless because he's just gained his, uh, his pin again, his pin back. Oh dear. Yeah, that was <laughs> not great. And it's over to you. So now I've got to try and get my Volgan AK-47s back up. Just shows you how well you were rolling in turn one in terms yeah, of exactly. getting it's, back in. It's like they say, it could go on to the uh, death of the universe itself, but in reality it doesn't take that long. So, two dice, can they get back up? No, so they stay down. Okay, and then we just got one, so this is quite a short turn. Yeah, wow, so turn again, two is a lot quicker. So I'm going to try and get these guys back up. Um, and that would be, which is the action, is it the, number, is it the four? No, it's, no, the, it's, the, cool. it's the cool, cool one. So there's only two for these guys. No. No, so they stay down. So that's the end of turn two, so basically we've got a lot of... A lot of damage. Yeah, there was some big damage done to my wall A lot droids. of robots down, it's quite, quite a brutal game. Yeah, so we'll have a quick tidy up and be back with turn three. So, into turn three, so we'll pop all the star chips back in. Or oh, all the chips, sorry, the activation chips. And we'll see who comes out first. Right, so it's over to you. Over to me, so it's my non-star chip one, which isn't ideal, so I'm gonna try and get these guys back up. So they're gonna try and get back up. So I think we established that the models act individually, but they have to all take the same one. So I would roll two resist dice per model effectively, which is where we've possibly been going yeah. wrong. So, the first one, he does not get back up. The second one, does get back up. And did he remove the, all of his pins? Yes, all his uh, bleak markers there. Okay. Right. And then the final one, also gets back up, so that's quite a good result. Right. Nifty. But, they're now back up, ready to be shot at again, <laughs> yeah. by whoever decides to come at them. That makes a lot more sense compared yeah. to how we were doing it, rolling potentially just two dice for a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite limiting, isn't it? Okay, so it's me. Um, oh, oh non star. So I'm, I'm going to try and do exactly the same as what you've done, yeah. and, and we're going to try and get my, my lads up. So I'm going to do this one first. Um, two dice. Um, no, he doesn't get up. Nope. Second one. No, again. I'm lucky. Okay, actually, so now hang on. A down robot, still blah, blah, blah. Roll the number of combat dice equal to the model's cool stat modified by Stun's Metal Fatigue. If any special results are rolled, then the test is passed. If the cool test is passed, the down model may attempt self repair. You shake it off action to remove stuns or a hunker down double action to remove leaks. So basically, it can stand back up but they still have all of their leak markers or stunned markers. Okay, so they've still, still got the damage. Yes, yeah, so they've still got the damage and they then need to take a different activation to get rid of them, but they okay. are back up, effectively. Back up, okay. Yeah. And it is a double action to hunker down and try and remove leaks. So it's me. Star one. So there's me star one. So Volcan, Icon of Icons, is gonna attempt a double move. This may come back to bite me. So because he has a pin, he's reduced by one. Okay. Stats. So, he's, so he's on a nine. No, she'll be on an eight. Because the move is, would go from oh. five to four. So a double move. Oh, okay, yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, so he's actually only on an eight. So he's just gonna go, hello. So I think I know what's gonna happen pretty soon. Well, we now have to see, does his dice go back in the bag? Yes, it does. So in goes the Star Chips. So this is a big one. This is a big one. Who's going to fight first? Oh, ah. it's Hammerstein. So, Steen, Stein. I'm going to do the obvious thing, and I'm going to go, basically, I'm going to fight. I'm not going to run away. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of damage with that hammer, so even with my pin, I get reduced. I'm going to go in. Yeah, for sure. So we're going to have a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a standoff here between these guys. So, so I only fight with one weapon. Uh, yeah, so if you've got the close combat, well, you, so could, you could fight with here. two. You could fight with the close combat hammer and the saw, 
But if you did that, you, I get a bonus to my resist, yeah. and my resist is already seven. So it's quite, he's tough, is my guy, the Russian space wizard yeah. robot. So I'm, I'm going to go for my, my saw, because yeah. it, it gives me a, a minus one to your resist. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to go for that. So I roll... How many, how many dice do I roll to... So where is the... So you get four for your four bite. For hand to hand, yeah. Saw attachment gets a plus one modifier. Yeah, so yeah, so you get five in total. Five dice. So you've rolled the special, which is great, because that does the minus one to my resist. But you've got two hits there. Two hits. So instead of seven on my resist, I now only roll six. Uh, and you've also got a minus one because I'm fighting with the saw as well. Yes. So I actually only roll five. So I need to roll two of the shield dice to try and basically shrug this off and be like, yep. nah, mate, got it. I'm having it. I only rolled one, so you're still going to damage me at some kind of way, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> so you now roll four dice plus your modifier, which is plus one, so five dice in total, to see how much damage you're going to do to me. It's a sickening four. He loves it. He's absolutely mad for it. Luckily though, for me anyway, um, I have a resist stat of seven. So a four, he's just like, yeah, whatever, mate. So you'd have to get 14 in total to get him down. To kill him, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So I'll pop that there with his pin. And then you can roll to see if you get your star chip back in the bag, so which is four. Four. No, I don't think I've done that once all game. So now my final one. I need a pin. Oh yeah, and another pin. Oh yeah, and a pin. Because he fouls it. So yeah, that's. We'll move one of these guys' pins over because I'm not sure they're going to get back up. Um, so my star chip now. So I'm obviously going to try and fight back. Come back at me, yeah. Yeah. So where I have got four leaks though, that is quite bad and I'd get quite a lot of minuses for that. So what I'm thinking actually is... Maybe a rally. Yeah, I might hunker down. Because you're not going to get back, you're not going to fight me again this turn. I might get another go at you. I think you should just go, I think you should get your hammer out and whack me. No, I'm going to go for, I'm going to hunker down. So that's a stat, a uh, cool stat five to hunker down. It is a double action. I'm pretty sure it is. Where's it gone? Hunker down. So I now need to roll the armor results. Hunker down, double action, roll a d6 and add it to the model's move stat. The model can move up to this total distance in any direction, providing the move ends no closer to the nearest enemy model. If the model moves into cover, roll a number of combat dice equal to its original unmodified resist stat. For each armor result rolled, the mo model removes one injury or leak marker. Okay. So, I need a d6. I get a one, which isn't ideal, because I add it to then my move stat, so I get a two inch move, because he's got four leaks. Still in trouble. Not quite, because I can get into cover. Which means I now get to roll my resist stat to see how many of those leaks I can get rid of. Um, and it's your original unmodified resist. Ah, uh, okay. So it's seven. Yeah, so you've got a really good chance. And I just need to roll the shields. So I've got rid of two, which isn't too bad. Not That's, too bad. you know. Two remaining. Yeah, so he's got two left. And now we need to see. Are you going to try and. Um... Oh, absolutely. Uh, it is at a minus two. So it is now only three dice. No. So he takes a pin. Takes a pin. But, you know, there was some good damage done. He's kind of done a bit of a self repair. So we'll see. We'll come back at you with turn four. Yeah, turn four. So we're going to call this our last turn, but um, it's all looking a bit hanging in the balance. Brutal. 
brutal. So, so far I'm holding three objectives. You've got the one over there and that one's still uncontested. Yeah. So let's see how we go. So first chip is, it's me and it's my star chip. So this is great. This is so good. What are you going to do? I think, Run away. Oh, uh, see, I, <laughs> I think for the interests of the... Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to charge in. You've got to get stuck in. Going to do that. Big double move. So hello, Hammerstein. Steinstein, whichever one you are. So, I am going to attack you. I'm going to hit you with my hammer. Because it's a stun weapon. Do it. Um, so I've still got two leaks. So I'm going to reduce my fight dice by two. Which isn't the end of the world, because I'm going to get a plus one for swinging on the hammer. So, five attack dice. And any specials, I can stun you. Which means that you'd have to do a shake it off action to bring it back around. What was that? The shake it off. Oh wow, that's the highlight of the game. There we go. There'll be an outtakes after. Um, so I get, do get the special, which is good. So I've stunned yep. you, but I've only hit you once. So I think I'll take that, I'll take that. That's so you bad. now get to roll your dice minus any pins. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm no, I should roll six, but I'm now only rolling four because I've got two pins. Yes. But there's only one hit, so I've got a good chance here. Yes, so you've saved. Just about. You, you've done that, which is good, but you're now stunned, which is good for me. So we'll give you a stun marker. So what does that mean then in terms of the stunned? It's almost like uh, you need to now rally to... Ah, uh, so take out my activation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you just... I think it's only a single action. Because it's a shake it off action. Yeah, so you could do a uh, shake it off and then you could fight. Okay. Um, I had to do a charge, which is obviously a double action. And, um, yeah. Do you want to try and get it back in the bag? Absolutely, I do. So, I get to roll three dice. Because he's still got two leaks. Yeah. No, nope. it stays out, takes the pin. It's not good, so that's on to you. But it's only a single one, what are you going to do? Could I get two activations with him? Or should I try and get these guys up? That's the question. So if I try and get these guys up, that would just take their activation and they can't really do anything, so... But you think, I'm not really going to threaten over there anymore, am I? So what I could do is I could move them down here with this one activation and then try and take these guys out. Mm. So I'm going to do that, so I'm going to do a double move. So I'm just going to get myself in the position over here. And then hoping next turn I can shoot my cannon and mm -hmm. put those robots down like I did last time. And exactly what I'm going to do. So, try and... So he can't activate again because he's got his... Oh, okay. He's used a chip, so it'd have to be the downed blokes. So it has to be the downed blokes. Yeah. So I'm going to try and get them up. So it's... Two, two dice. Per model, yeah. In so, specials, you can get them back up. Yay! Yeah, so he's back up. Oh, reactivate. Hello. And the next one? No. no. Cool. So obviously the final chip out of the bag is my um, AK-47s. The question is, do I want to try and use that one? Get oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try Let's and try it. Here. Let's try it. No. no. So final chip is my guys. Um, they're going to do a hunk down. So they get to do a D6 move. Uh, not D6, D6 plus their movement. So two minus the three. So they're doing a four inch move. They're gonna try and get into cover so that they can then roll their resist stat to try and get rid of some of these leak markers. So their unmodified resist is three. Yep. So let's see what we can do. First one. Gets rid of two, look at that. Go on, son. And then the other one gets rid of one. So they're still hurting, but they're possibly going to be a bit more combat effective now. Getting back in the game. Yeah, which is good. So that's the end of the turn there. I think we should call it there, because we're running out of time a little bit. Ultimately, it goes down to say Volgan win yeah. this time round. But it was a learning experience. Um, you know, we did get rules wrong. We're going to get rules wrong. Um, but first try out. First try out was good. Got to used to some unique aspects of it. Obviously, don't put your robots in the open. No. You get shot because you can see here that pretty much could be out, out for the rest of the game. So I think I think maneuver and cover, um, order of who does what, Yeah, as, as we like most games, is going to be really important. Yeah, for sure. 
And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment down below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. See you later, guys. Cheers.